All right, let's go ahead and get you started here with your first alert weather update. We are tracking heat and humidity. Heat index values going well over the triple digits, so it's our next big thing. It's what we're tracking, and we want to be the first to alert you to the type of heat that you will experience again this weekend. So if you're keeping track, last weekend, Father's Day weekend was one of the hottest that we have had, and it looks like the temperatures take a little bit of a lull. They come down kind of the near normal numbers, but by next weekend, they're going to be spiking up again. So it will feel like the triple digits for your Saturday and your Sunday. And so we want to go ahead and let you know that it will be hazy, hot and humid as we approach the end of the week. Reason being high pressure decided to dominate as it does. It brings in sinking air. This air will be hot. This air will also be coming in from the coast. That's going to usher in a little bit more humidity. That's one of the reasons that we're going to reintroduce that storm chance out there just because we'll have moisture in the air and we know all it takes is a trigger or a little bit of an uplift and that'll start some showers and storms. But before that happens, we'll have the humidity in place, making those mid 90s feel like 101 to 105. And here are the numbers that I'm talking about. 92 on Friday expected to feel like about 95, which isn't half bad. And that is because we are kind of dealing with a little bit of an easterly or a northeasterly wind. So that kind of keeps the humidity in the pocket, if you will. Now, once we start to transition to the wind coming in from the south and the southwest, it's over. Fair game for us to start to feel those triple digit temperatures. And this is only the beginning. Your Saturday will feel like about 101 and your Sunday feeling like about 105. And now this is after just having a daytime high temperature of 97. We're adding in that humidity that we're expecting, and that's where we get that 105 real field temperature. All right, let's also talk about our next big story, which is our tropical outlook. Yeah, we've got to watch out for the formation of possibly another tropical system. This one in the eastern Atlantic. This one is one we'll be watching still kind of unorganized. They don't have a whole lot of favor in it in terms of development. But for now, it looks like in the next seven days, it has a 20% chance of development. Not a whole lot of hope in it, but because it's on the east coast, we'll continue to update you on it and let you know what's going on with it. And then we have potential tropical cyclone one. So it has developed. They've decided to go ahead and call it potential tropical cyclone, which is a new level that they have added just about a year or two ago. And the winds are now at about 40 miles per hour. Movement is to the north at seven. But clearly this low pressure center just doesn't really know where it wants to go. If it goes north or if it heads over into Mexico, the official track is taking it into Mexico. But at the end of the day, it's going to be a rainmaker. It is going to bring some rain to the New Orleans area into Houston and then eventually into Mexico. So if you name it or not, you're still going to have flooding rains in that part of the country. Here's your first alert 10 day forecast. We're tracking about 90 degrees for you Tuesday, Wednesday and Thursday. Thursday summer arrives. It is the longest day of the year. And then by the time we transition into your Friday, Saturday and Sunday, it will be the first full weekend of summer 2024 and it will feel like it. We're at 95 for your Saturday and 96 for your Sunday. Even as you head back to work on Monday, we're tracking a high temperature of 97.